we are asked to solve for the total amount of energy that this cube is emitting every minute. The cube has side lengths of 2 meters each, and the cube is at a temperature of 300 degrees Celsius. We can assume that the cube is a perfect black body, meaning our emissivity of this body is simply 1. I recommend that you take a minute now and try to solve this problem on your own first before we go through the solution together. So, if you have seen our previous videos on the Stefan Boltzmann law, then you know that we can describe the energy emitted by a black body through the following equation, which states that the emissive power of the black body is equal to the Stefan Boltzmann constant times the absolute temperature of our body to the fourth power. Now, the first thing we need to do is convert our temperature to Kelvin. So we can just add 273.15 to our 300 degrees, and this will convert our temperature to the Kelvin scale, since we need the temperature to be the absolute temperature. Next we need to think about what we are actually solving for. The problem asks us to solve for the total amount of energy emitted from the body in a one minute time period. But remember, the total energy in a given amount of time is not the same thing as the emissive power as the emissive power can also be written as the total change in energy from some reference state, say time zero, and energy zero per area, per time frame. Our question is actually only asking us for this Q2 term, that is the amount of energy that has been emitted after our one minute time period. So let's multiply both sides of our equation by the area and time, and this isolates our total energy at our final time. Now. We know the Stefan Boltzmann law constant and the temperature of our body and the time. So all we need to do to complete this problem is find the area of our cube. As a cube has six identical sides, we can just multiply the area of one of our sides by six. Therefore, we have four times six and a total area of 24 meters squared. We can now complete the calculation and validate that our units work out to energy. So, kilojoules. And there we go. This body will emit 8,810.87 kilojoules of energy every single minute. I hope that this video helped your understanding of how we can use the Stefan Boltzmann law to solve for the total energy emitted from a black body. And if you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our YouTube memberships by clicking that join button down below. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, Please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.